I'm going to give you an overview for you who are here. And again, I just want to say welcome to you. And you are at the right place at the right time exactly now. We hope that this presentation, this uh, you know, uh, hour or two that we're going to spend here, will literally change your life. But not just your life, the lives of the people around you. If you think about it, draw a circle around you. And imagine how quickly, how many people can you put in that circle that you know? It could be two people, five people, 10 people. Everybody knows another person. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a story about where Bitcoin started, how it started, where I came from, and then I'm going to get into something about Bitcoin, and I'm going to show you the magicalness of Bitcoin, if that is a word. And then I'm going to wrap it up with a little bit of spirituality in terms of what Bitcoin is and what Bitcoin is about to do for Africa. Now, you may be from South Africa. You may be from Namibia the old Southwest Africa, Botswana, up in Nigeria. You may be from Ghana. Remember this, guys, that I grew up in South Africa. I was born in South Africa. I grew up in an orphanage there. I smelled the same air in South Africa that you smell. I, I walked on the same dirt in Africa. And goodness me, you, you can't tell that for the rest of the world. You know, you can't. If you are, if you are somebody who has never been to Africa and say, what does the dirt smell like? They can't tell you, but only somebody that lived in South Africa or in Africa can tell you that. So we have breathed the same air. We've walked in the same dust. Now, what happened is I grew up in Dispatch. Everybody knows Dispatch, uh, you know, close to, I know the name has changed now, but in the old days, it was called Port Elizabeth, Dispatch and Utenaik. So I grew up there, went to school there. And then from there onwards, I went and traveled worldwide, studied worldwide, and then started working in the oil and gas industry. While I was working in the oil and gas industry, I came across an algorithm that literally could predict fatalities, near misses, and incidents in the oil and gas industry. Years later, when Bitcoin came out, I suddenly realized, but wait a second, this algorithm of Bitcoin is aligning with the oil and gas industry algorithm. It fascinated me. I went and dug a little bit deeper. I studied a little bit deeper and I wanted to understand why are these algorithms exactly the same? Guess what, guys? I came to one conclusion. It's human behavior. And the penny dropped. And I said to myself, wait a second, if I now can figure out how humans think, then I can literally predict what the stock market will do. And the penny dropped again. I did some research and my research came to one single point that I've done my entire life from the age of 12 years old. At the age of 12 years old, I had an epiphany, basically. We were playing on the grass, a lot of my friends, and you know we were doing somersaults and chasing each other and playing rugby and you know touch rugby. And at the end of that, you know, hour, two hours you play, you fall in the grass. And remember when you were young, you fall in this green grass, you look up in the sky and you see the clouds and you see the sun and you stare directly in the sun. And right at that moment, I had an epiphany. And that epiphany was, Marius, you as a young boy of 12 years old, doesn't matter your race, your color, that you grew up in orphanage, you can do anything that you put your mind to. And without me even knowing anything at that time, I decided, but wait a second, that's true. If I think that I can do it, I will be able to do anything in the world. And literally the rest was history. And I started foreseeing the things that I want to, want to achieve. I literally called it out. And I said to myself, I want to be the best student in school. And I became the best student in school. I want to be the best at athletics. And I wasn't the best, but I ultimately became the best because I pushed myself to achieve that. And little did I know that that is human behavior. So what happened is when I discovered this, and, and I just wanna say this for you listening there on the other side, think about this now for a second. Have you come across your friends and family members and they tell you every single time that I buy a cryptocurrency, the market drops. Every single time I buy something, I lose my money. Have you heard that? The reason they lose is because they tell you 
what they're going to do. They they tell you speak out your future. You know, Tony, if you want to know where somebody's going to be in three years, five years, ten years from now, mm. just listen to what the person tells you, and he will literally tell you his future. So what I do, I let people talk, and then they would either tell me, "Oh, I don't get along with my brothers." I think I'm not even going to talk to him anymore. And then you know there's going to be trouble. Or if that person tells you, I'm going to be successful, I'm going to make it in life. You know, they will be successful. Go back five years and you'll see they are successful. We literally predict what we say. And what we say is our prediction, if you understand that. So what we basically oh, okay. did is in 2016, we started here with the algorithm that I developed in the oil and gas industry. I compared it to Bitcoin and the rest was history. We found an algorithm. So it's a proprietary algorithm. We are the only people in the world that have got that and we hold it very closely to our team. We don't give it out. And this is why we are successful. This is why we can predict the market to a certain extent. So what happened is we started in 2016, grew 2017, 18, 19, and, you know, a lot of people are really fascinated when they look at us and they, they go, but where have you guys been? The simple answer to that, the world is big. We've got thousands of members, but also we have just started. Guys, if you look at this from 2016 to 24, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're in the ninth year now. Do you know how difficult it was? To build this business from 2016 till 2024, extremely difficult. The highs and lows that we have gone through is just incredible. And still, I'm saying to you that in year 2024, we are only that tip of the iceberg. We are now getting into the league of Wall Street investment companies, Wall Street technical analysis. So we're just there now. It takes you years to build it. There's so many people that have started here in 2016, 17, 18. I don't see any one of them around. It's because you have to know what you do. And many of you know, if you grow up in Africa, you are strong. <laughs> you are strong. <laughs> you know, it's, this is not a business for anybody. So now, since you've seen our history here now, I'm not going to go through all the individual products. But during this presentation, you are going to hear from Nico LaRue who is based in South Africa in Cape Town, and he's going to talk about the Day Trade Masters. He's going to talk about the ultimate trading course, which we developed. And then you're going to hear from Wendy, Vicky, and John, who has, they've developed the Horl Nuts trading course. They've got Horl Nut or the Horl Fire indicators that we use to predict the market, to find out the lows and the highs. Very easy to do once you know what to do. If you need to, we'll explain a little few, few bits and other pieces for you. But for today, what I'm going to go through here quickly is I'm going to analyze Bitcoin for you very basic. You know, since I grew up in, in South Africa or in Africa, I think I can probably use this analysis where people that didn't grow up there, they can't use it. But let's say, for example, because they don't understand, they don't understand the Koi Koi and the sun. They don't even know what it is. Now, for you that are not in Africa, Thousands of years ago, there were indigenous tribes that walked on planet Earth, most likely in Africa, tens of thousands of years. And the Khoi Khoi and the San, who are still available and still, who, st who still live today, they, when you talk to them, and I've met many of them, lovely people, what they would do, they would take the sand, make the sand flat, and then take a stick, and they would draw little pictures there. And then you would understand, aha, I get what you say. So now what I'm going to do today, and I like to make fun of this, very lighthearted fun, is that I'm going to make the sand flat for you and take a stick and draw on the sand so that you can see what I mean in a very basic, simple meaning. So let's say we've got a flat screen here and we look at Bitcoin now. Our company started way back in 2016, which was about there. And just quickly, from 2016 till 2017, we are famous for calling that top in 2017, where we said the market will go to 19,999. And we recommended to all our members, we had 1,000 members at that point, we said, exit the market right at that top. 
what happened is we, we basically told the members to exit at 19,500 and wait for the market to come down. And one year later, on the date of 18 December 2018, we called the low and we told our members to go, to get into the market. But during this down cycle, it's recorded. Everything I'm telling you, there's history, there's recorded, there's videos. We made 518% gains. Now look at that in a down market. And that was basically something that caught the world's attention. And then we started, uh, we basically became well known in the industry. People were flocking to us. And this is literally where we started with the business. Now, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to make it very, very easy for you. Right here at the bottom. Now, remember, Bitcoin started way back here. If you go back in historical data. Now, you'll notice that this is October of 2009. I have data where Bitcoin was traded for nine months before it was released. Many people think there's a guy called Satoshi Nakamoto that developed Bitcoin. It is frankly not true. We believe it is developed by a agency, an American agency. And I don't want to give names there. But this data was sent to me in private from a American organization email. So we broke this data apart and we found a secret pattern that uh, I believe that was sent to us. So anyway, what, what happened here is I want to show you quickly here, right at this top here in June of 2011. The market came down for six months. And this was the turnaround for Bitcoin on 1 November of 2011. Now, look clearly what I'm going to show you here. From 2011, it took 30 months for the market went to go to a top in December of 2013. Then it took 13 months to come down. Then it took 35 months, the new cycle now, to go till 2017. And then follow now with me. Then it took 13 months to come down. And again, look at that, 35 months to go back up to that top there. We went down here for 13 months. Now, guys, I've got the good news for you. We are up here in that 35-month cycle. But this cycle here is not going to play out like any of these cycles. There's going to be a little bit of a twist. And we have that data. As a matter of fact, with our algorithm, we can now predict what the market will do up to nine years in advance. We're working on year number 10 and 11 as I speak here. What I'm going to do now as the koi koi, we've made the sand flat and we draw with a little stick. I'm going to show you now these little circles that you see here. These circles are very important because if you look at this circle here, right at the bottom there, where we call the low, the market went up and we broke through that point there. And you see that there's now just a little bit of resistance coming there. It could be a bit of a pullback, slight pullback. And then for the rest of the data, what you can do if you subscribe to the long-term trade reports or the Elliott Waves or get back to Tony, we can provide you that data. But I, I just want to give you some confidence here that you're at the right place at the right time. We've literally made all these calls to the, to the lows and the tops. We've had them 100% accurate, except COVID. However, during COVID, when we were here, during that cycle, we warned our members and said, there's something that we see in the data. We don't know what it is that could potentially drop Bitcoin way down to $1,000. We don't know what it is. We can't see it. It's an event that has never, ever happened. You know what? We scratched our head to go through scenarios. We couldn't come up with something. Who would have believed that it was COVID? So COVID came. It was stopped here. And I believe that was supernatural. It was stopped. And then the market went up. Nonetheless, we're in this cycle now. We're in a bullish pattern. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus here quickly on something that we do for our inner circle and trade partner members. And I'm going to focus here on a band. The green band, basically, when it's green, goes up to the up cycle. The red band is in the down cycle. If you only follow this, you trade every three or four years, you'll be successful. I've made this comment and I said, for example, there is nothing in the world called the doomsday. A doomsday is a, is a fabricated name that people use because they are fearful. But think about this now. If you go on holiday year and you come back and you trade this section here for, let's say, a year, 
Then you go back on holiday again for let's say a year and you come back right, right now and you trade again for two years, you'll make an insane amount of money. So when you zoom out a little bit, there is no such thing as a doomsday because you on, you're in control. You know what the market is going to do. You can see here on the bottom, it says buy, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. We're now in a buy. We're in a buy. Now, let's just zoom into that area quickly there. And you can verify all this. Right at the bottom here, we told our members to get back into Bitcoin. Bitcoin at that point was 17,000. Now it's standing at 70,000. Let's quickly do a short analysis here quickly. If you take, let's say 70,000 minus if you bought at 17,000 where we recommend it, you now would have $53,000 profit. So I'm going to ask you now, did you buy the bottom at least one Bitcoin with $17,000? If you did, your profit is $53,000. If you didn't know about us, then you may not have bought on the bottom. You may have bought at 40 or 50 or 60. By the way, we know where the top is going to be as well. You know, is the top going to be at 100,000? Will it be 150? Will it be 200,000? We know exactly where that is. Where is the next drop? That is what we do. We give our customers, customers the low entry points. We give you the high entry points. Now, one of the things that we work with here, which you may find fascinating, is that our data can predict who the next president of the United States will be. And I'm not going to go into that, but if you want, you can actually get in touch with us or Tony, we can have perhaps another presentation for people that want to do that. So if you want to know more, we can set up another presentation. I can run you through and I will literally show you who the next president of the United States will be. Now, let's go back in historical data here, for example. During this period year and that down cycle year. Now, remember, this is the United States dollar. When the United States dollar drops, Cryptos go up. Now, in March of 2020, Donald Trump was president. The market, the US dollar was supposed to come down. And suddenly, out of nowhere, this thing turned up. We predicted that. And we said Donald Trump is not going to win. He's got a very slim chance because we see the market turning around. This rally is not a Donald Trump rally. And of course, you know who won the election. I'm putting a cross there, and I'm going to tell you that this should have never happened. Okay? Now, can you see what happens here? The market is in a down cycle, a huge down cycle. If you think this was big, you have not yet seen what happens here. So you can make up your own mind what, what I mean here without being political. You know, we look at the charts. Now, why do I say that? A new president will be extremely good for cryptos. Now, my friends, for you, most of you are CEOs of large companies here. I'm the CEO of BitcoinTF.com. We've got our own crypto. We've got a large team. You sit here with all the executive members here. I'm going to ask you this question now. If this US dollar is going to drop, what do you think is the price of Bitcoin going to do? 70,000 will be gone in a wink of an eye. Mark my words, 20 days from now, you will never ever see $20,000 in Bitcoin ever again. As a matter of fact, I want my friends, my family in Africa to become the wealthiest people on planet Earth. The only way you can do it is to engage. I'm telling you now, 70,000 will be gone. Now, let me move on here. And I'm going to have a look quickly have a look for you at the US dollar. For those people that are trading the United, sorry, the the, uh, the stock market, the, the Dow Jones, I'm also going to have a look at the S&P 500. It's very important that you understand this. You know how many people in the world are calling for the stock market to drop? Hey, the world economy is bad. It's going to drop. Get out. And everybody's running for the hills. You know, when I was 20 years old, 21, 22, I was interested in the stock market. And I listened to all these well-known analysts. You know, today, 
those well-known analysts, they're following me and they're using my data. Because I realized that, wait a second, these guys, you know, they were good when I was 20. Now I'm in my 50s, but what has happened with these people? It's like they don't yeah. know what they talk about anymore. So so they, the same people are calling for the stock market to drop. I'm telling you now, it's not going to happen. We at BitcoinTaf.com also provide a stock market report with stocks that we have. What's going to happen is that this stock market is going to rally up here to about 43,000, the Dow Jones. And way back when the Dow Jones was 16,000, we at BitcoinTaf.com predicted that from about 15, 14, 15,000 Dow, we're going to go up to 40, 43,000 Dow. People laughed at me. Look where we are now. Now, if you look at that red arrow, that's where we are. A bit of a pullback now, which is occurring right now, the final pullback. Then we're heading up. 43,000 Dow is there. Brief pullback here. Then we go up again. This is not even the top of the Dow, also not the S&P. I'm going to show you quickly a little bit, uh, just to finalize there, Tony, I'm... I'm going to show people quickly our algorithm. Now, I'm not going to show the full algorithm, but you'll notice here that there's a blue line behind the chart pattern of Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin came right down here to the bottom. We call that low. We told our members to buy at 16, 17,000. We got in and the, the rest is history. But now remember, Bitcoin only makes up about 5 to 10% of our portfolios. If we can quantify what Bitcoin is going to do, then we can tell you what the altcoin market is going to do. Bitcoin goes up to 300%. The altcoins does 1,000%, 2,000, 5,000%. There's coins that we have, and Nico will get into that, that have done thousands of percent. So what I'm going to do here is I am, I am going to perhaps just replay the market here quickly for you. And uh, let me just quickly see if I can do that. I'm going to go here, and while the market is replaying, I am going to show you what has happened. Now, now this blue algorithm line is what we have and what we see what the market is going to do, and we give that to people or to our subscribers. Now, you'll notice that I've just cut it off here, but we know what the market will do here. We know if it's going to break out. We know if it's going to go down. So let me play this, and you'll notice that right from the bottom here, You'll see here how the algorithm followed our blue pattern. And you can see here this upside is what we predicted. Now, on the left-hand side, on this side of is, is our algorithm. We hold it very, very secure, what we do and what we predict what the markets will do. Uh, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. But here on the, on the right-hand side, you can see how the market is going here into that falling wedge. And many people here were saying, but hey, the market is going to drop here. And we said, no, it's not going to drop. It's going to give us an opportunity to buy. So while other people are selling, we are buying. And here you can see that we break out of this uh, falling wedge. We go there, 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 and then up. Basically, a standard pattern that we have identified way back from 2008, when Bitcoin was traded unofficially in the world. And then from there onwards, we many of you know that, let me just pause it quickly there before we have that break. See this point here, where we said in 2023, we said there will be no crypto crash in 2023. Now, what happened at that time is that the Pentagon documents got released. But before the documents got released, what should have happened is that the market would have come down here and exactly here on October 2023 should have dropped. And it should have gone really badly, and we should have been in World War III. At that point, I said that it's not going to happen. Something will stop it. And then we said what we see is that there could be a huge event between Russia and America. And we, we ran around scenarios like, could it be a, another COVID? Could it be something else? And in my report, I said there will never be a COVID-style event in 2023 or 2024. It won't happen. But then I came out with a scenario, scenario and I said the worst scenario will be if the if a certain well let's name the names if the if the Pentagon goes and shoots down a US aircraft carrier with an American submarine but use a American ballistic torpedo. They shoot it down and then blame it on Russia and then we in World War Three. 
And we said, I said to people, this is the biggest event that I can see because Russia has got hundreds of submarines around the world. You know, a lot of little ones and they've got seven massive ones, the largest in the world, and they're roaming the entire planet. So it was very easy to make that an event, blame it on Russia, then we're in full-scale war and cryptos drop to zero because the internet is off. Nobody can trade. Hunger, food, starvation. And you know what? Then what happened? Many of you know. You may have forgotten about us, about this. And then the Pentagon documents got released. And in the Pentagon documents, it was now illegal to have a copy of that. Just for disclosure, I don't have a copy. All destroyed. What happened is, is that in that document, the scenario was presented for how they can create World War Three, and that scenario was in there. So I'm just going to go here, and we clearly said that there won't be a drop because we think by supernatural intervention is that cryptos are going to go up. And if you look at this now, this is why I call this also the godly cycle because we said what will happen is this will be point number one, point number two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is the seven cycles of a godly cycle. And as you can see, we went up exactly. You know, you're, you're a little bit off in terms of what the market will do. But at that point, we went right to point number seven. And at point number seven, we said the market is going to drop. And we call this now the Jaffa Gate. At this point here, we are now in a process in the world. And many people do not understand this. Guys, I'm telling you this now. You're a CEO, you're executive, you're a businessman, businesswoman. I tell you this now, the wealth of the wicked is being transferred to the righteous in the world. To you notice how, sorry, Tony, was there anything you wanted to mention on that? No, no, I say amen to that. Oh, absolutely, amen. And many of you guys, you are understanding what I'm saying here. The wicked are being eradicated like rats. But the wealth of the wicked is being transferred to the righteous, not just for our own good guys, but to good to do good in the world. Drill water wells, build, you know, facilities for people in communities, uh, build schools, educate people. I know firsthand what it feels not to be educated. When I was in the orphanage, I had to go and sit in the back of the class in the sun, in the dust. You know, remember these wooden floors we had in the dust, and we had to draw pictures. I had no shoes. We only had one. I think one pants and three t-shirts. That's all we had. No flip-flops. You know, in Africa, people in Africa understand this. You walk barefoot. It was nice. I loved it. But while sitting at the back of the class, I did not have the opportunity to engage in teaching and training. Because they didn't want to teach you, didn't want to train you. And many of you know right now in the year 2024 what I'm talking about. It has not yet been eradicated. Why do you think is cryptos not so big in Africa? Guys, they want to keep you uninformed. And I'm here to tell you now that we, BitcoinTaf.com, we are going to break through. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was on a invite where I spoke uh, together with Lillian Barnard, the Microsoft CEO of Africa. And in there, we discussed how we need to bring education to the communities in Africa. Because I tell you now, Tony, you, we cannot leave Africa behind. Yeah. I left South Africa. I had to go to Australia to learn all these things. I tell you now, I'm going to bring cryptos back to Africa. We are going to make sure, if you guys help me to bring people into BitcoinTF.com, that I can help you. My team is ready. We're ready to help. Let's quickly carry on here. Now, this thing here, oh, what I was going to say is, You'll now notice that this is the Prince of Jerusalem cycle. And uh, many of you know that there are 12 gates around Jerusalem. This is gate one. That's gate two. We are now in gate number three. There is going to be in cryptos a supernatural move that will go on for years and years and years. But it tops out at gate number 12. Then the cycle is complete. But we talk of years past the year 2032. The amount of money that you are going to make is enormous. Think for yourself now. I'm here to tell you now that, yes, Bitcoin will go to 1 million. Exactly 1 million. And then it's only the tip of the iceberg. If I tell you where it will end up, you will probably not believe me. That's a discussion, Tony, for a next meeting, perhaps. Because I want to give, a, you yeah. know, Nico a time here. We want to have some time for Wendy because they've got fantastic products here. It's just incredible, mm -hmm. guys, what you're going to hear now. 
you know, I'm, I'm just giving you the introduction. It's just crazy. So what is happening here now, we are now starting the Prince of Jerusalem cycle. Guys, do you know what this means? I wish you knew. You, you, you really have to subscribe, get with Tony, get into this data. You know, as I said, if you bought Bitcoin here on the bottom, you would have had now, what was that? 53,000. It's like peanuts to get our information. Okay, now the Prince of Jerusalem cycle has started. We're in the Jaffa Gate. This was the quick Zion Gate, and now we're in the Dung Gate. This, these are just gates that we call. It's a gate that you can decide to enter. It's a gate that you can decide to take some profit. So that's it. This is where we're standing now. And I'm going to give you a little bit of hint. We, our next gate is the Damascus Gate. And that will be a pretty high level for Bitcoin. So that's it, Tony. If you wouldn't mind, if I can hand over back to you. And if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you.